okay writing a function that contains writing a function that would contain an argument that is that would, uh, writing a function that can convert Fahrenheit to Kelvin temperature scale that it, it the argument would take Fahrenheit and convert it to Kelvin the kind of a conversion fun, uh, uh, function so now for us to write this function okay now let me make this visible enough so that you can see it so there here is let me make it bold now you will put in a Fahrenheit these are Fahrenheit values now we'll just put the put in the function here and wow the result will just be exactly what we're expecting now let's just put in the value of okay let's see this one should be function this should be function could i call it function kelvin um, Kelvin result. Now this is the result for this is the result for Kelvin uh, for the function. So so now for 32 Fahrenheit you have 27.15 27.15 Kelvin for this you have 0 for this one you should have 373.15 now let me be sure so that i will not be giving wrong let me use let me use the inbuilt conversion formula inside the excel i'll just say equal to i'll just type in convert press the tab key now the number is this one up here then comma comma i will not just scroll down Scroll down, go to where temperature is. Scroll down to temperature. This is for the high select this. Press the top key. Comma. Kelvin. Press the top key. Enter. Um, bracket close, then enter. See? The same thing. So now, let me just scroll down. See? Just exactly the same. Now let's look at our formula. Uh, there is a function that we're going to create here to see if it will give us the same value, just as what we got using the inbuilt function of the Excel. So now let's go to the, the Visual Basic Environment. How to go into the Visual Basic Environment? We we go into the Visual Environment by pressing one, two keys on your keyboard, which is the Auto and the F11. Now. And again, another way to also go into the Visual Basic environment is to use the Developer tab. tab. Now, there are two ways to get to, because it, initially, by default, the Developer tab is not on your Excel main tab. So, the way to get it, uh, on this ribbon, you right click, select Customize Ribbon. When you select, you now the, the, if this thing is not if the developer tab is not showing, what you do on this developer tab, you check this box close to it and click OK. The box is already checked here. That is why it's visible here. You check the box if it's unchecked. Click OK. There is another way. Go to File, go to Option. You go to Customize Ribbon. You check this this box if. if, if if it's not here, this box will be unchecked. So you check it and click OK. Now that's the way. 
Now, for the way to us for us to get, go into the Visual Basic environment, to click the, uh, the developer tab, go to the Visual Basic button, click the Visual Basic button. Now, on the Visual Basic button, when you, when you move your cursor um, on top of when you move your cursor on top of it, you see the shortcut key, which is the Auto plus F1, which I said initially. Now. I'll just click it so I'm in now in that environment now I will just type in function now the name of the function I'll call it Kelvin I call the function Kelvin brackets open I can just say the, the I can call the ver the the argument F now just enter that's all now we needed to know what are the formulas we're going to use inside this uh, uh, uh um, functions where we want to code now we need to know the, the the formula we're going to use so now let's go to one note now we are going to use a kind of an interpolation um, procedure interpolation method just like now you have this is um Celsius scale this let's say this is Fahrenheit scale now when here is zero here is 32 degree Fahrenheit so when here is zero degree Fahrenheit and when here is 100 degree Fahrenheit you have here as 212 degree Fahrenheit this is degree Celsius now let's say you, you want to get the value here if given this value here let's say this value is F and this one is C now what you're going to do is you know the the, the distance from here to here is the same distance from here to here and the distance from here, let's say from here to here, is the same distance from here to here. So what we're going to do now is say C minus O uh, minus zero divided by hundred minus zero is same thing as you know C minus zero. It, each the equivalent here is F minus thirty two. Is the same thing. Now, you ha now have 212 minus 32 is the, the same with 100 minus 0 in the Celsius uh, scale. Now, for us to now do this, 212 minus 32 will give you 180. Now, let's say, you say now C, C minus 0 is C. Divide by 100 minus 0 is 100. Now, you now have F minus 32 all over 180. Now, if you make, if you want to isolate C, what you do, you multiply all through by 100. So now, if you multiply all through by 100, the left-hand side will be C equal to 100 all over, the right-hand side will be 100 all over 180 times f minus 32 now if you look at this the zeros will just cancel itself now 2 here you have 5 2 here is 9 so that means we are left with 5 all over 9 times f minus 32 and we know that Kelvin is equal to Celsius plus 273 plus 1.5 1. 1. now we're going to use these two formulas you say c is equal to 5 all over 9 f minus 32 so now c is is equal to f all over 9 times brackets open f minus 32 bracket close so that is it these are the two formulas we are going to use in this 
um, coding. Now let's go into our coding environment to get things done. Now let's I'll open the Excel sheet. This is the coding environment. Now what I'll do now, as I'm going down, if I'm using if I if I'm using any variable that is not defined, I will define it. That is what I'll do. Now we so now we have we, they they gave us f. So now when I say c is equal to five divided by nine times bracket open f minus thirty two. Okay, I need to put bracket close. Bracket close. Now this is it. Now when you check, we didn't define our C here. We need to define C. So now when I say dim, sorry, this is dim dim C as let me just call it double. Let me see double. Now down here. We're looking for Kelvin. Now, you know Kelvin. You now say Kelvin is equal to C plus twenty-seven point fifteen. Simple coding. Very simple. Very short code. Now this is very short so Kelvin is equal to this so now let's go back to the let's go back to Excel sheet so to go back to Excel sheet just click this Excel button here now let's check the formula to see if it's correct Kelvin Kelvin is there just click the tab okay select this Close the brackets, hit enter. Wow, it's wrong. Let's go back. Let me just. There's some error somewhere. Let's go back. C is okay. 5 over 9 times F. Now let me use the 32. The 32 here will be zero. If we put zero here, okay, why is it giving me wrong value? Let me see. Let me see. Maybe now let me use another value here. Let me just call it y. Y. Maybe that has a particular value. Because I didn't see any error here. Mm, can I change the C? Let me change C to let's say A. This is A. And this is A. Because this, those variables I use might be a constant. Let me see. It's not value. So, what? Where is the problem coming from? Oh, I selected this. Sorry. Wow, that was the error. Now let me just click and move this to the up to the top. Sorry. Let me let me go here again. Select this up. Enter. Correct. Perfect. This is zero. This is zero. Let me see. This is zero. This is correct. This is correct. Correct. So I choose. Sorry, I choose the wrong value. I choose B two instead of choosing B one. That is where the problem. 
the, the formulas were correct. So now let me just check it, change it back. I can leave it uh, at this, but let me change it back to where it is so that I can even use spell it out so that when somebody looked at it, look at the formula, it will know where we're coming from. So no. Let me change it to this. Let me copy things. Right. Let's double click, copy, let's paste it in. Control V. Now I can just say this is Celsius. Let's click copy. I just double click to highlight that control V paste control V paste so that's it to still give us the same thing so enter the same very correct let me not do Fahrenheit let's say 90 this should give us what 305 let's look, use the inbuilt function let's see what it gives us something correct that is perfect very good so now thank you for watching have a nice day if you like this video please help me help, do well to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that when each time i generate new videos or each time i create new content you will be the first to see it and also do well to help me to share the videos. Thank you.